start with a circle. Then, mark a point, which we'll call point A, on the circle. Mark an arbitrary fixed point B, not on the circle. Then, draw a ray or directed line from A through B. Next, mark point C on ray AB such that the distance between A and C is equal to some constant. What is the locus, or path traced by point C for all points A on the circle? And more importantly, what even is this problem? This is a problem from geometry called Wittgenstein's Rod, and it was first posed by the 20th century philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein. In this video, I'll be demonstrating some of these loci, as well as a few variations on this problem. The loci produced by this construction often have quite interesting and visually attractive forms. There are three parameters we can change. The circle's radius, the location of the fixed point B, and the constant distance from A to C. Most of the variety of the appearances of the loci appears in the location of the fixed point, marked in red here. Here are two different loci produced when the fixed point is outside of the circle. two different loci produced when the fixed point is close to the circle, but outside of it. And here are some loci produced when the fixed point is inside the circle. Shorter distances from A to C tend to produce figures with loops, like so. This geometric procedure can also be applied to any closed figure, producing a new and different family of loci. Here are some examples with squares.
and also with ellipses. As you can see, even the simplest of geometric constructions can produce shapely and attractive curves. And with that, I bid you farewell. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.